welcome into Rock Painting 101. I am Susie, the hands behind the tutorials. Today I have a really fun and simple tutorial to share with you that you can recreate today while you watch the video or when you're done, you can pause it and give it a go. Uh, picnic check is all over the place. I was flipping through magazines and I'm seeing it's a hot new trend for summer. So of course, I'm putting it on my uh, favorite canvas, which happens to be a rock. So follow along with this fun tutorial and we're gonna make some fun picnic check uh, rocks. And if you really enjoy doing this, we can also add some fun little friends to a rock as well. So as you're following along with the tutorial, if you're enjoying it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow along, of course, so you don't miss any of our fun content that's coming soon as well. Enjoy. So I've got white base coated rocks here. I've got one over here that's kind of a different shape. This one's got a little bit more of a flat surface to it. And then I've got a number four flat. I like to use the flat brushes because you get this nice corner um, to your brush that's going to be necessary to get some better lines. Now I've got, this red's dried up from earlier when I did a, a practice rock. Uh, I've got red with a little bit of white in it here. Um, started off to the side on my plate and we're just going to go right on our rock with a nice full brush of paint kind of dab it in there back and forth you do want to have your edge and we're going to start doing lines on our rock i'll make sure that i'm in here the screen so i'm going to start going right across the center of my rock like so and it depends on how thick you want your uh, blanket pattern to be um, for the purpose of what I'm doing, I kind of want it to look like it's up close. So I'm going to start with the line. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. I prefer to use a smaller brush for this because sometimes when you press harder down, your edge can bulge to the side a little bit. So I like to thicken my line as opposed to trying to do one solid line. So I'm just going to create this stripe here. I am going to move all the way up and over that edge on the side of the rock there. Now, if you have a hard time doing straight lines, you could um, trace out some lines as well if you wanted to. Okay, just like that. I'm... Once you've got your line on here, we're gonna start our second line. We're gonna do it parallel, and you want the thickness of the white line in between to match the thickness of our uh, pink line that we have here. So I like to start a little bit wider because it leaves me a little bit of room for error. And that way if I need to straighten my line a little bit, I can. There we go. Just like that. And a lot of this process is like our um, plaid rocks that we did around the Christmas season last winter. Okay, just like that. And now I'm going to thicken this line so it matches the first one. Once you've got stripes as far as you can go in one direction, we're going to go back in the other direction. Um, you can off-center it. You can have your middle right in the middle, however you want to do it. You just want to create white squares, essentially, as you create your lines going the opposite direction. So once you figure out how um, thick your line is to match your pink line, just take it in the opposite direction, all the way off and over your edges again.
When you're going to do your second line, that's when you really need to focus on your spacing because you want to create a white square essentially using your pink lines. You want nice sharp corners. And once you've got that white square, you can continue that pink line all the way across your rock. Now you can touch up if you go a little bit over just it, make sure that pink's extra dry. You could touch up with white paint and thicken it back out if you feel like you went a little bit over. I'm just not that hard on myself when I'm painting rocks to hide around town, but if you're making this as an extra special something for somebody, you could always go back in and sharpen up lines even more or even go in with a ruler and measure them out to be specifically even and straight and that works too i have a few little lumps and bumps in my paint i had used it earlier today for my first rock like this I put my paint right on top of the old one. All right, so we've got those on top, and you can tell by looking at the shape of the white how here I'm going to need another pink line, even if it's not all gonna be there, but you don't want that white to go past the square shape. So you can just go ahead and add that line that would be there on each side. So again, on this side, And sometimes it can be tricky with curves, but I'll show you here in a moment. Another rock I did that was completely funny shaped. And you just kind of work with it. There you go, just like that. I'm gonna rinse out my brush. Just got a little bit of water in this little jar here. Just to rinse out my brush. And that's setting up here. We're gonna get our red out. And we're gonna finish up this design. Okay, so now anywhere your pink overlaps your pink is where we're going to make it red. So just grab a good amount of red on your brush and then use your plate or your palette to kind of wipe the brush flat because you want that square corner available um, for getting in the corners of your uh, design. So I'm going to carefully start here and you're just going to fill in the square where they overlap. So I tend to like to outline my square and then kind of pull the color to the center. So you kind of go in that corner first where you get that nice crisp edge from your palette and then you kind of pull the color down in. Just like that. Until you've gotten all four corners like that. And I'm gonna continue doing this in each one of these inter intersections of pink. So you've got all of your squares on there. You can look to see if there's anywhere where you might need a second coat or um, that you feel like the design got a little bit away from you. You can touch up. You've got your pink here on the side still, so save some of that pink from before um, in case you went a little over any of your edges with your red. I just suggest you do one color at a time. See, like right there, I've got a little spot that I want to touch up with pink. So my reds I'm pretty happy with. So I'll touch up that pink spot really quick and then I've got something really fun you can do to kind of finish these up. Now you could obviously leave these just as they are as little picnic blanket themed rocks. So if you're doing um, a themed you know, party or something and you wanna have these around as part of your decor, you can leave them just how they are um, and they look really cute. However, if you're planning on creating these to kind of hide around town, this next little step is really a cute 
addition or idea to do. So I've got one here, and like I said, you can put these on not flat rocks as well. This guy's been drying for a little while. So I will show you, see if you go over the edges, you can kind of have it like almost like it's kind of bunched up in the corner there. So don't be scared to just kind of figure out how your colors will work going over edges. Um, nobody's going to sit and judge your rock that closely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back with my black 1M Posca pen and I'm gonna add some little friends here on my rock. So we're gonna just go with quick and easy little guys here. One, two, three. And one, two, three dots for each. I'm gonna grab one of my microns, my, my 01 tip to do my legs and my antennas. Now all of the legs come out of the center part of the body here. So we got six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six out of each one and a couple antennas. All right, like that. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, and a couple antennas here. See those little guys on there coming to life? Isn't that a fun little touch? So whether you do them plain or with your little friends, these are just so fun to create. So I hope you give them a try. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along for more rock painting tutorials. See you soon. Bye-bye now.